chapter 13 to 15. Therefore, brethren, let us be of a humble mind, casting aside all false pretension and conceit and foolishness and anger. And let us do what is written, for the Spirit of the Holy One says, The wise man must not boast in his wisdom, nor the strong man in his might, nor the rich man in his wealth. Instead, the one who boasts must boast in the Lord, to seek him out and to do judgment and righteousness. We should be especially mindful of the accounts spoken by the Lord Jesus when he taught gentleness and long-suffering. For he spoke the following, Be merciful, so that you may obtain mercy. Forgive, so that you may be forgiven. As you do, so shall it be done to you. As you give, so shall it be given to you. As you judge, so shall you be judged. As you are kind, so shall kindness be shown to you. With what measure you measure, with the same it shall be measured to you. By this injunction and this transmitted message, let us strengthen ourselves to walk with all humility in obedience to His holy accounts. For the holy account declares, On whom shall I look, but instead on Him who is meek and calm? and who trembles at my accounts. Therefore, men, brethren, it is right and holy for us to obey God rather than to follow those who, through false pretension and insubordination, have become the chiefs in an abominable jealousy. For we shall suffer no slight injury, but great danger, if we rashly entrust ourselves to the inclinations of men who aim at exciting rivalry and tumults, so as to alienate us from what is beautiful. We must be kind to one another, after the pattern of the good affection and sweetness of our Creator. For it is written, The kind-hearted shall inhabit the land, but the innocent shall be left upon it. But the lawbreakers shall be entirely destroyed from off the face of it. And again it says, I saw the impious exalted and lifted up like the cedars of Lebanon. And I pass by and saw he was no more. And I sought out his place and could not find it. Preserve innocence and regard straightness, because there shall be a remnant for the peaceful man. Moreover, let us adhere to those who cultivate peace with piety, and not to those who hypocritically profess to desire it. For it says somewhere, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And again, They blessed with their mouth, but cursed with their heart. And again it says, They loved him with their mouth and lied to him with their tongue. But their heart was not straight with him, nor were they faithful in his covenant.
because of this. Let the deceitful lips which speak lawlessness against the righteous man become mute. And again, may the Lord destroy all the lying lips, the tongues which boast, those who say, Let us magnify our tongue, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because of the misery of the poor and the groans of the needy, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety. I will speak openly with him.